Hey guys, this is Tom. Now, we all want our ads to be noticed, to be seen. To get that, you need to really differentiate your ads. Today, I'm going to quickly demonstrate three little tidbits to help you with that. For demonstrations, I'm going to use a 310 by 110 ad that I've previously used for tutorials. And open that up. The first tip is in making rounded edges. First, we're going to copy this image into a new layer. Then we're going to select the image. There we go. Now go to Select, Modify, Smooth. So the sample radius here dictates how flat or round you want your corners to be. We're going to use 10 here. Okay. Now click on Select, Inverse. You've now just selected everything else but the ad that you want. Hit the Delete button. And there you have it. The second tip is in creating a drop shadow. This will make your ad kind of pop out of the page. So let's move this ad to the top right corner here a little bit, or left corner. The drop shadow is pretty easy to make. Right click on your layer, then click on blending options. Check the box next to the drop shadow. There's a bunch of options here that you can play with to modify your drop shadow. For distance, we're going to do 10, and for the size, we're also going to do 10 for this example. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. The last tip is to add a little something that's unique to your ad to really make your ad different from the rest of the ads on the page. Now, I'm going to show you something that I tried, which is to add a little image of a scroll bar to your ad. So I've already made mine here, so I'm just going to copy this over, and you can make your own. I'm going to zoom in, paste my scroll bar, I'm going to place it right around there. I'm going to hit Control T for free transform and then hold down the shift button so that your proportions are constrained. Hit enter to apply, zoom back out and see what it looks like. Oops. pretty nifty huh the ads kind of saying you want to check out the rest of her well click here and scroll down I find that adding something a little extra that's maybe a little gimmicky can really differentiate your ads and boost performance well that's all for this tutorial I'll see you next time